All right, this is a more expensive card. I'm about to open a ton of stuff that I got from my binder. Let's see what I finally got. And I've been getting a lot of goat stuff from my goat deck, but I think that this stuff is more binder collectible stuff. So let's dig into it. We're just gonna open every single thing that I got to buy some more stuff, ironically. All right, I got this Unity Jump promo. My dad has been in the comments asking for prices, so I'm gonna give some vague prices just because I don't really remember all of them, but they're all pretty cheap. This card's probably like $5 on TCG Player. It's supposed to be beat up. Like this is supposed to be a heavy played card probably. That's normally what I'm buying. This does not look like a heavy played card. Maybe it's better than heavy play, I don't know. We shall see, but this is going in on my promo page that I have. Also opening this today. I may not put it in the binder though. It is a graded card. I wonder if you know what kind of graded card I got. Not to keep it in the grade, but probably to crack it eventually. So there's that, another thing to crack. All right, Sayaru, this is another promo card, and this is supposed to be highly played. And, you know, honestly, they really don't have hardly any wear, so it's totally worth it. This is probably a $1 or $2 card. It's not a super memorable promo. It's from the DDS series, but it's not from, obviously, the first three DDS cards were Exodia, uh, Blue Eyes, and um, Dark Magician. Not these cards, these are LOB cards. But anyways, this is gonna go on my promo page too to complete my DDS. Well, actually it's not gonna complete that DDS set, but well on my way to uh, getting that completed, so that's cool. All right, this is gonna be for a future giveaway, Exodia. Yes, the one and only Exodia LOB. He is unlimited, however, he is in really good shape. This is a, I think it's a heavy play, so I wonder what's so heavy played about it. Maybe we can open it up and see if it has any significant damage, which is, I normally expect some pretty good amount of scuffs and stuff when I buy heavy play. It's not coming out of the uh, sleeve very good, but this is that guy. I'm going to be doing a 250 subscriber giveaway, and all you'll have to do is be subscribed and probably comment whatever I ask you to comment at the time. I'm not doing the giveaway just yet, but there's gonna be two more cards coming in with this guy that I'm gonna be giving away all three of them. My, some of my favorite artwork in the entire game, I'm gonna be giving away those three cards. Uh, like and subscribe if you haven't. This channel's really been growing and I appreciate it, mostly from my Yu-Gi-Oh! collection video. And my collection, as far as my binder is going, is really changing. So I'm excited to share that. This is going to be from my goat deck, actually, Anaba White Rabbit. He's pretty cool. He goes back to hand at the end phase of every turn. He's a spirit creature. That's kind of their gimmick. And he also attacks life points directly. And that's kind of my niche thing that I like doing. So very nice. I guess I'll put this guy over here, too, so we can show them all. And we got the and we got the last letter here that I'm opening before I move on to the graded that I bought. And I got a lot to say about the graded thing too, so stick around for that. All right, we got this thing. And it is sealed like Fort Knox. Shout out to Apollo TCG Supply who sealed it so nicely. Great work. Do not tuck. All right. I'm not trying to tuck this bit of cardboard here. What do we have here? Okay, we got some more goat stuff. Man, they package it really well for just being some regular um, cards. This is cool. This is Gravity Axe. He's an equip from Dark Crisis. And he increases your monster's attack points by 500 but also makes it so your opponent can't change the battle position of any of their monsters so he kind of locks them if you've set a card already or if you set 
your opponent sets any cards in the future, they can't flip them up. That's pretty cool. So that will also go in my GOAT deck. But da da da! We have the one and only package here that I'm gonna try to open. Look, I got a nice little tab here so I can pull open. So we are gonna try to, okay, well the tab, whoever made the tab, I don't know. It's not working out the way that it was intended. I will tell you that much. There we go. That is much better. All right, did it. All right, a lot to say about this and it may crack, it may not. Let me tell you why. Oh, double package. Okay. All right, now let me, <laughs> let's redo that. Now let me tell you all about this, one, right? All right, this is a more expensive card. This is a Japanese 25th anniversary Ultimate Kaiba set, just like I have here. Now I have the three in this. I don't wanna break this thing open. Oh, you can see me too, what's up guys? I don't wanna break this thing open. So I've got this to break open. And the reason why I bought this card is it is so well done and it's a step above the card that a DDS Blue Eyes that, in my opinion, as far as price goes, right? This is probably a tenth or a ninth of the cost of a DDS Blue Eyes. And that DDS Blue Eyes in English would cost probably $600, $700, and the condition would not be good. Like the condition would be a, a three, you know? This is a nine, which, this is pack fresh as far as I'm concerned because they all came from the briefcase. I bought the briefcase so I know wh where it came from and they just cracked the, uh, the acrylic. But I bought this instead of a DDS Blue Eyes. And this cost maybe 80 bucks. I'm gonna end up cracking it most likely unless I buy one in Japan. And the reason why I bought this instead of DD Blue Eyes, DDS Blue Eyes is budget wise, but also you have a, a larger artwork and you still have this same nice cardboard coloring and it's just phenomenal and, he, and on top of that on top of that this card is almost exactly like a jump festa japanese blue eyes that had come out at, at a japanese expo in like 1999 maybe 98 really early version of the highest rarity of blue eyes back then in japan and this card is almost the exact same as that card besides for this Eye of Anubis stamp here. So, and that card is like over 10 grand, over 20 grand, however many tens of thousands of dollars, right? This is almost the exact same card. <laughs> Literally the exact same card, basically, besides this corner here, and maybe a few other things. But look, I think that this is a phenomenal spend of the money. I'm making a page in my binder for Japanese stuff. There's gonna be two pages. The reason, why I'm gonna collect two pages of Japanese in my binder is because I'm going to Japan in December on my honeymoon. We're going to Japan for part of it and I'm gonna fill these two pages up with some iconic stuff that I really love and some historic Yu-Gi-Oh pieces. And this is probably gonna be in there if I when I crack it because I if I keep this, I'm cracking it. Either I'm keeping it or I'm selling it. And I'll only sell it if I can find one of these in Japan because all of my Japanese cards would be from Japan, which that's really nice to me. So anyways, this is kind of my rant about this card. I'm gonna keep it in here until after I go to Japan and that's when it'll make my page. Anyways, if you watch this, please leave me a like, please subscribe, go look for my giveaway videos. I've been doing giveaway stuff. I'm gonna continue to do giveaway stuff as I grow and thank you. I'll see you next time.